Alright guys, so I got a new order from LW this week. Um, I picked up some of uh, the smaller um, 1.700s this time round. These are the smallest Class D mono amplifiers available from LW. Nice baby little footprint there. Uh, however, it packs a punch. It's got loads of internals, a good quality board, good quality components, 4 gauge inputs, dual fuses, 4 sets of outputs. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm actually running this at 12 volts rather than at 14.4 because obviously the PSUs run at 12.4. Three, I think. So it's not getting its full voltage for full output. I'm running it at 0.5 ohms. Just running some free air breaking in my 9915s up here. Now, free air obviously is a lot easier to push than in a box, but these are very, very, very stiff. So for a little amplifier to push two absolutely humongous four inch voice coils there with this stiff suspension here these are like 5000 watts RMS coils here guys for a little, uh, little amp like this to push these would be quite something so let's hit play on the tester and see what they do this is Visions of the Future Slowed Down by DJ Slow and Throw you ready? How awesome is that? 0.5 ohms pushing two huge stiff 15s with 4 inch voice coils uh, and it's not even warming up and it's on 12 volts, it's not even on 14 volts. If this is on 14 volts, we get even more power. Let's try another tune. Right, let's play the classic Basso Profundo Naruto Sadness and Sorrow rebase. I love playing this tune because it has such a wide variety of frequencies in there. The crossover is set quite low down so the highs won't come through as hard as the lows will. Check this out. They're deliberately out of phase so they don't shake the room too much. Obviously with one moving the other one it doesn't vibrate the top. Hell yeah! going for it. So 0.5 ohms guys. Not even warm, as it still feels cold to the touch, cold metal. Uh, I've been running this quite a while off camera as well. 0.5 ohms. 0.5 ohms at 12 volts on two 5k capable 4 inch voice coils with a stiff ass cone. Crazy stuff. If you guys want some big punchy power in a small package, check this amp out, man. It's £159 retail delivered to the UK. Peace out.